Good morning and welcome back to Forge Yourself Forward. Thank you for joining me this morning. It's Sunday at about 6.54 this morning. It's about 50 degrees out, so it's a little cold. And I can be honest with you, one of the last things that I want to do right now is jump in this ice bath. It's about 50-ish degrees, 52 degrees, somewhere in there. I'm not going as cold as I uh, usually do. And one of the things that I wanted to talk about, and I know a lot of people will see individuals going on these ice baths and, you know, will think, oh, that's, that's a little crazy. Oh, that's a little too much. And in some ways, yes, that is true. It might be a little too much. It might be a little too crazy. But I can tell you that for me, one of the things that I get out of it, start that timer. Oh, it is cold this morning. is I found focus really helps. This world's busy. It is certainly something where you are going to be pulled in a lot of different directions. Especially if you're somebody at my age, I'm 37, you know, I have two little kids, a wife, a career. So you're constantly being pulled and pushed in all these different directions. Not in a bad way, it's just reality. And one of the things that I help find that this helps with focus is it allows me to do one of the most difficult things possible early in the morning or first thing. And the reason why I find this to be important is because it allows me to see everything else as a little bit easier, as a little bit less stressful and something that I can handle. Oh, we're at a minute. It's time to go down. And the reason why we can handle things is when you force stressful situations, difficult situations on yourself early, whether it's exercise, doing the most difficult task of the day first, if it's a work project or a household project that you're avoiding, by forcing yourself to do that, everything else will look easier by comparison. There's plenty of books on success, hacking, productivity, which all talk about those things. But, you know, that's on pages. Let's talk about that in practice, in real life. Oh, my ducky thermometer fell down. Oh, what am I going to do? But well, let's think about this in real life. You're a parent. You have two kids. You have one kid. You have four kids. Even if you have no kids, maybe you just have a dog. Something bad happens. Maybe they pee the bed. Maybe the dog throws up. Maybe you run out of something. Maybe something breaks. It's all stressful. It's all part of life. And it's something you're going to have to deal with. So if you've already done something that's this hard, will wiping up something that fell on the ground be that hard? Will changing sheets and maybe doing the laundry and saying, listen, you try next time, we keep going forward, it's okay, accidents happen. Wouldn't that be a lot easier if you've already done something difficult opposed to if the first difficult thing that you have of the day is that happening? It's a perspective that has given me a lot of peace and a lot of thought. And I'm thankful for it. The other thing is it makes me more present. I can assure you, being in ice, as you can see, um, for a period of time, right now it's been two minutes, will make you more present in other moments of life. As ridiculous as that sounds, and it does sound ridiculous, even I think it sounds ridiculous, but it's true. In the last two weeks, I have noticed that my perspective is different, my presence is different, I'm there, I'm not distracted by little innocuous things because I realize some of them just don't really matter. And when you realize that, and you take that perspective, and you think life gets better, and the people around you get better because they see that you care and that you're there to help. You know, in a lot of ways, we sometimes have to lead in certain situations, whether you're a leader or not. And if you've already dealt with something hard, this exercise, as I've said, you can do it better. You can do it more effectively. You can think when the stressful situation happens as opposed to just react. 
that's sometimes what we have a tendency to do. We have a knee-jerk reaction for things that maybe we don't need to have a knee-jerk reaction for. Or maybe the first reaction isn't the right one. It's just something to consider. As you can tell, I'm shivering. You're already past the three-minute mark. I'm going to see if I can do four full minutes up to the neck like this. Whew, it's cold, but it is fun. I'm actually enjoying it. And if you can hear my voice, you hear it's a little shaky because I am shivering. And that's okay. I know where my limits are and I kind of push them a little here and I push them a little there. As I think we all do in life. And what I would urge you to do is the same. Push yourself a little bit. Oof, I got another about 15, 20 seconds and then I get to get out. And I can show you getting out feels amazing, as you can imagine. And right now, where are we at? Oh, no, got about five more seconds. Yep, definitely shaking, definitely feeling it. You can tell I pushed myself a little bit today, and that's good. I'm proud of myself for that. Whew. Oh, five more seconds. That's all I got to do, five more. And um, I just want to say thank you. Give it a consideration. Doesn't have to be a nice bath. Could be a cold shower, could be a hard workout, could be reading, could be doing that task. Just take a chance, do something stressful to start the day so the rest of your day gets better. Have a great day and forge yourself forward.